Hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise the higher, everybody. Praise the higher. One more time. Praise the higher from whom all blessings flow. Amen, amen. This is your sister, Karianne. In Yesiah the Christ, Yesiah the Messiah, Yesiah of Nazareth. If you want to know why I call God the higher and the biblical Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Yesiah, I've done a video concerning that one. Greetings. Greetings to the 12 scattered tribe of Yashahel. Yashahel is the name given to Jacob. Jacob's name was not changed to Israel. The proper name is Yashahel. So I greet all the Hebrew. Yashahel, I scatter to the four corners of the earth all over in the diaspora. I greet you all in the matchless name of our soon coming King, Yesiah the Christ, and to the beautiful body of Christ, the church, whom, hold on, whom our great King is coming back for with a spot, wrinkle, or blemish. I greet you all in his glorious name, Yesiah the Christ. All right. You can skip this bit and find the main message. All right. I am going to do some housekeeping. My name is Sister Karen, solid gray border with a tick white circle anybody else pretending to be me is a wicked dirty devil you need to rebuke and report them please watch a video to the end there's a sinner's pride there for you and sometimes i haven't done the top 20 for a few videos now but i will do i will go back to doing it brother and sister don't worry i will all right just bear with me hallelujah sometimes we we'll do something called the top 20 i'll give your names a little shout out Thank you for watching the video. Thank you for liking. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for using the comment section. Thank you for subscribing. It's a lot of thank you, all right? Thank you for blessing me, Sister Karen, through PayPal. Oh, being my bread and butter, really appreciate it. And thank you for using this platform as well to bless me. I higher bless you and your family. Glory be. All right, we are near. We're not only near to the returning of the beautiful messiah hallelujah to the lamb that was slain before the foundation of the earth but we're also near to the revealing of the dirty antichrist lawlessness is coming brothers and sisters daniel 7 verse 25 tells you that satan is going to change times laws and seasons it will be given to him in his hands it is going to happen brothers and sisters that's why Yesiah says pray to be found worthy to escape things coming upon the earth all right because what is coming is going to be so awful and i believe that Yesiah is talking about the woman in revelation 12 there's two women in the book of revelation revelation 17 woman which is an apostate wicked dirty church and revelation 12 which is a true church the true church of the most High, with the 12 stars around her head the 12 stars represents the 12 hebrew yashahelite tribes scattered in the transatlantic slavery all over the world all over in africa the most High promised father abraham that he will gather the remnant of jacob that's been this dispersed all over Africa all over Africa all over the world through um slavery or captivity so we know that Yesiah hallelujah by his very nature because he's true to his word he is going to regather the true remnant of Jacob don't ask me who the 1948 because you might say oh sister Karen he's already gathered them in 1948 I don't know who those people are who went down to Jerusalem um, to Israel I don't know who they are don't ask me but all I know is that the most uh, higher cannot lie he has not regathered the transatlantic slavery descendants he hasn't done it yet and it is going to happen and it will happen before Yesiah comes so second exodus and then Yesiah comes in the clouds of glory all right so if you're looking for Yesiah to come any day any minute now it ain't gonna happen because he need to gather the remnant of Jacob I'm telling you powerful all right Theme banner, we are near. Prophetic theme song, we are near. And the song goes like this. How near you are, oh near you are, oh near you are, oh near. Oh near you are, oh near you are, oh near you are, oh near. Hallelujah. Yes, we are near. We can sing that song with red confidence. Okay, brothers and sisters, we've got two ministries: one for the end time prophetic, one for the end time prophetic ministries, and one for the Hebrew Yashaelites. All right. So this is the end time prophetic ministry, and I want to talk about it because something has been arrested on my heart, and I heard very, very strongly in my spirit: digital, digital money. Mm. This is not cryptocurrency business or whatever. I'm not talking about that. And to be honest with you, if you ask me about cryptocurrency, I don't know what it is. I have no idea. Zero. I, if you comment, Sister Karen, 
tell me one little line about crypto. I don't know what to say because I've never, I never research it. People talk about it. I don't know. I don't listen. I just don't. I stay away. All right. So, but I heard in my spirit, digital money, digital money, digital money. What does that mean? Oh gosh. Digital money. What, what I'm going to say is, Digital money, what, what does that mean? I said, Father, digital money, digital money. And in my spirit, because I know some of you are thinking cryptocurrency, that's not what I get in my spirit when I heard digital money. In my spirit, brothers and sisters, yes, Lord, thank you. Thank you, Father. There are certain things that's going to come before the mark of the beast comes in. Because Satan's got to do a test run. He's got to get you comfortable to certain lifestyle it do you think if tomorrow if the devil comes out with a mark of the beast and said oh everybody get the rice grain in their hand people who are even not christians who don't even walk with christ they're going to refuse it because they're going to know it's wicked right so satan is not going to just come up and come and say oh mark of the beast tomorrow no he's going to get us used to just smaller things in life so when the Lord said, digital money is coming, I said, ah, so Father, what you mean? And I heard not crypto. That's what I heard in my spirit, not cryptocurrency, because I don't know about it. But he's, the Lord is not talking about this cryptocurrency. It's not it. So I said, Father, what do you mean? And what the Lord began to break down in my spirit, ahaya, begin to break down in my spirit, what am I tell you, about this digital money. And the Lord is showing me that the digital money, and it started already, is, um, we, we know that we've got the credit cards, and we've got the bank cards, right? And we can go to the bank, and we can draw money, or whatever. But that is going to go. I don't think, I, I think that, I believe, nothing. I believe that the physical money, the paper money, the coin is going to go. Something is going to happen and they're going to make a test run. And the male lie and said, oh, well, something has happened. There's no paper money. There's no coins for the moment, for the foreseeable future. But we're going to bring it back. So they're going to probably do this test run with the mobile phones. Because I've seen it. I've seen people pay. But <laughs> I'm using my bank card and my cash. Right? But I've seen people whip out the mobiles. Ding! And they pay. No cash, no money. But I tell you the, the truth of what happened. So last week, I was in the chemist, the pharmacy, to get some medicine. So I'm just some um, paracetamol and stuff for my little son, right? And while I was in the, the chemist, I was standing beside, it wasn't really old. It probably was about 65 or something like that. And I overheard the conversation. He came in to collect some medicine for his wife, because his wife is poorly, right? And... So when he was going to pay the money for the stuff that he bought, he got his bank card out and he was pressing, putting the bank card on the, on the little machine, yeah, the little machine thing, but it wasn't going through. It, was, it wasn't pinging and was saying, oh, I don't like these bank cards. I don't like them. I don't like them. So I turned to him and said, um, you need to put the bank card where it have the little like Wi-Fi sign. All right, at the side of it. And said, so, oh, you need to put it on the side and it will go through. Um, and so it did and it went through and it went, oh, I tell you, love, I tell you, I don't like these bank cards. He said, I tell you what, he said, a couple of days ago, I was in the shop and I saw this woman came in and she bought some stuff and she came up to the till and he went and she paid. She, he said she paid for her stuff with a ring. And I was like, a ring? He said, yeah. He said, she had a ring. <laughs> Digital. Ah, I cannot lie. Ah, yeah, never lies. I said, a ring? I said, are you sure? He said, 
sure as I'm standing here, love. He said, she didn't have any bank card. She didn't have any phone or anything. She said it was a ring, a literal ring on her finger. And she went like that, bing, and, and it just took the money. And I was, I was just like, wow. Wow, father. Wow, wow, wow. So digital. So they're going to try the digital. They're going to, they're going whether it's the crash in the bank or they're going to come up with some lie before they officially crash the bank, right? But they're going to conjure up some form of wickedness and tell us the money, no paper money. And they're going to say to us, you know, you need to go on your phone. You don't, I don't even know what to download, brothers and sisters, to pay for me stuff. I have no idea. But saying that that is still not the mark of the beast so if tomorrow morning the wicked come and said i'm sorry no paper money no coins your bank card cannot work you cannot draw the money it's got to be your phone or whatever right i have no problem getting that because it's not the mark of the beast because the mark of the beast is a little thing in your right hand or forehead that you worship the image or tattoo or something like that right but this is where we're going digital money it's everything is going to be digital before the true market. So when you get used to the digital, you get used to the phones <laughs> and the rings, whatever else they're using. I don't know if else to pay for stuff, phone rings. Um, they might still have the bank card, but it's just that you won't physically, you can't physically get any money out. So they're preparing. So all these stores everywhere that you go, you want you will cash cashless society then cash no paper money no coins cashless society everything is digital it's very interesting isn't it ring i've never heard about that one so this woman's got a ring so this is where we're going brothers and sisters so satan um is not all knowing you have to understand that. Always remember that the devil, he is not all knowing. And because he's not all knowing, he's got to do a test run. And this is going to be a part of the test run is a digital money before the mark of the beast comes. Because at this point, everybody's going to go. So it's like the bank cards, isn't it? Some people can't do without the bank cards. Some people don't carry cash on them because they're so used to the bank cards so 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 used to the bank cards brothers and sisters they don't have cash on them so this is where we're heading the wicked knows the planning the planning like mad all of the spirit of a higher can reveal what the wicked is doing i'm telling you they all just sat around a long table just planning 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 the demise of humanity called the devils all right um so digital currency let me have a quick look now because i haven't researched it i just go by what was in my spirit i love to do that you see i don't like when the lord tell me things then i run and research it i love to depend on the spirit and the knowledge hallelujah the knowledge of a higher before i google 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 stuff so everything that i said to you was from the knowledge of the most high so now the digital yeah digital money that's what the lord calls it digital money some people call it currency. So let's see what come up now. Digital money. Or they call it digital currency. Um, I don't understand what's going on here. <laughs> Somebody's asking, is digital money real money? Um, for several years, U.S. banks, Babylon U.S. banks, have been discussing the possibility of considering Bitcoin, Bitcoin as a legitimate asset class, which means, I don't know what's Bitcoin, which means it would be recognized as real money. However, Bitcoin and other cryptocurrency are not currently considered real money for the Federal Reserve. That's what the Lord told me. The Lord said there's nothing to do with crypto he said that he said the, the the digital money is not crypto he's not talking about crypto i believe that he, what you talking about is what i told you like the mobile phones your credit cards the, this ring <laughs> that's coming up it's all a test run to the mark of the beast so this one says digital money is 
purely digital, purely digital. It is not physical or tangible. Thank you. That's it. Can't touch it. That's what I said to you. No cash. I know what the Lord showed me in the spirit. No cash or no coins. You can't physically touch it. It's just digital. It is not physical or tangible um, like cash or other commodities like gold and oil. So this is where they're going, digital money. They're going to call it digital currency, but the Lord calls it digital money. So that's what I'm calling it, digital money. All right. Um, so. So digital, dig, digital money can um, streamline the current financial infrastructure, making it cheaper and faster to conduct monetary transaction. Cheaper and faster. It can also ease monetary policy implementation by central banks. So example, example of type of digital money or well, they put cryptocurrency, central bank currency, stab, stable coins. Um, I don't think the high is talking about that. Um, all right, so so I believe this is where we're going. Digital currency. So it's not physical money like what we know. So they're gonna come and they're gonna get rid of the money. And they're going to go digital. They're going to phase it in. They're going to start to tell you, use your mobile. This ring, I need to look up this ring business, brothers and sisters. I've never heard about it. And I was so happened behind. Pay for stuff with di I'm going to put digital ring. Digital ring? I don't know. Digital ring. Is it true? Con Ooh, this one says contactless payment ring. What is the world is going on? I've never heard about that. Payment ring. I have to look into it. I don't know. Don't take me time. I have to really look into it. But the guy, the old guy said to me, the woman pay for stuff with her ring. There's a ring on her finger. And she just bing, bing. And that's it. it she got her food and stuff and she was gone. Wow. 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 And there's another, I don't know if somebody emailed, I think someone emailed me. I think it's an email concerning Amazon. And apparently, oh God, what's it, an email or something I watched? Somebody said, it's either an email or somebody sent me something. I can't remember, but either way, but with Amazon, and I think these are in Amazon supermarkets, Amazon store that you can go in. You, um, how, how does it go? You basically go in, you don't pay, you pick up your food. God, what is it? You pick up what you want to pick up. And then, I don't know. What happened? You, you, you don't use any money though. There's no um, paper money or coins involved. And you just swipe something and you just go. I think that's what it is. You just swipe something and then that's it. You just go. You don't go to no checkout, nothing like that. You just pick up your food and go about your business. Swipe something and you're gone. Wow, digital, brothers and sisters. I'm telling you, this thing is coming. It's coming down fast than us. See all this thing going on in Babylon, US with Donald Trump up there in the courthouses. While Trump is in the courthouses, bigger, massive stuff. The wicked is planning because everybody's just so focused on different stuff. These are the things that's coming up on us. And because we're so unaware of these things, we get caught off guard and we don't know what to do when the wicked spring it on us. So you have to be in the know-how and understand the times and the seasons that we're living in. Hallelujah to the Lamb. So yes, digital currency, digital money is coming. But oh, sorry brothers and sisters, I'm, I'm, I'm about to finish now. I just seen an image of this ring. 
<laughs> Look at me getting excited. I don't know, brother. What in the heavens? Look at this, brothers and sisters. I'm going to show it to you. I just press images. Shop, pay for stuff with digital rings. The man is not lying. Jesus, we love you, Lord. What in the world? I'll show it to you. Oh, Ooh, brothers and sisters, what's going on here, man? Um, so these are the rings, isn't it? Oh, oh. Look. <laughs> Hallelujah to the lamb that was slain. See it there? The, the, the old man is lying. There it is. Never heard about it in my entire life. That's it. That's what the old man saw. Ring. How? Oh my God. Mark of the beast is upon us. Half the pair is that we are near. You hear what I'm saying, brothers and sisters? We are near. Near to a lot of things. We have to wake up. We have to begin to pay attention to the times and the season. Yesaya says that we have to learn to be observant. He said, observe all things, not some things. He said, observe all things, all things, brothers and sisters, everything. So when we come on here and we begin to talk, amen, we begin to talk, isn't it? This is, um, what do you call it? Melon, not melon, yeah, melon flavor. It's just flavor, um, no, no, no. melon flavor. Mm. So, anyways, hallelujah to the Lamb. Right, where was I? Brothers and sisters, listen, we have to learn to be observant. We have to. Because if we're not observant, these things are going to creep upon us. And we're not, we're not going to be in the know how. But I heard the Spirit of the Lord, digital money. And he said, it's not crypto. Because I don't understand about crypto. So he knows I don't understand it. But what he's talking about is not cryptocurrency. He's talking about like paying for stuff with your mobiles. Paying for stuff with your rings. Well, I'll show it to you there, ain't it really? It's not the mark of the beast anyways. This is not the mark, right? But it's leading up to the chip. Paying for stuff maybe with chain. <laughs> Who knows? Earrings. Put it by your ears, ping, ping. Your earring has got something you can pay for your stuff. So Satan is getting us used to all these um, fine, finer things in life. Easy. Oh, so easy. Mirroring, do, 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 are we done? So I believe that something is going to happen where the wicked is going to come and say, unfortunately, there's something wrong with the banks. We can't get the physical money. There's no coins. And they're going to make up a story. They're going to say, but it's going to come back. But it will never come back. It will never come back, brothers and sisters. So what they want to call it, crashing of the economy, crashing of the banks. Maybe that's what it is. But, they, but, but I believe that they're going to come with something a bit light first. Before they whoop, whoop, whoop and crash the banks. Something like a little test run. Because you know Satan, he loves test run. He's the master of test run. Because if he crashes the bank right now, he doesn't know what's going to happen. He don't. Because he hasn't got certain things in place. So now you have all these little, little gadgets coming up. So he's going to do a test run. Get the rid of the money and the coins for a short period of time by lying to the people and telling the people, don't worry, we're going to get the money to come back. Money is coming back, but something is happening. So just, you know, use your phone, download this app and go and buy this ring and all sort of stuff. Pay attention, brothers and sisters. I'm telling you, you have to learn in this dispensation. All right. Okay. Where was I? If we come to the end of the video, you have not accepted Yesiah as the Lord and Savior. Please say this in a prayer. After me, we want you into the kingdom of Ahia, dear Yesiah the Christ. I know that you are the son of Ahia, whom the world calls God. I believe that Yesiah died on the cross for my sins. Yesiah, I thank you for dying for me. 
And I believe in your death, burial, resurrection, and that Ahaya has raised you from the dead. I know with confidence that you are the son of Ahaya, Yesaya, king of glory. Hallelujah. I come before you right now and I'm asking you to wash away all my sins and to forgive me for all that I've done wrong. I repent for my wicked ways, Ahaya. I thank you for your beautiful son, Yesaya, and I pray that you help me to live a life of repentance and give up the things of this world. Thank you for salvation and for saving me. He said, I pray, I believe with your heart. Welcome to the body of Christ. We believe in Acts 2, verse 38, where the Bible talks about repentance. You've done the repenting part. You know, need to find a man at the most that higher. Asking to fully dunk you, fully baptize in the water, spiritual transformation. When you go down in water, you see that you said that on the cross, you believe in the atonement of sin. When the man of the most I raise you out of the water, you're raised into new life. You're raised into the glory and the power of Christ's resurrection. Beautiful stuff. So be bold, be strong, be courageous. Walk with a higher just like Enoch and have the mindset of Job. All praises, all beautiful praises to the most higher who lives above the heavens. Ahaya, eternally bless you. I love you all and I will see you soon, someday in glory. In your size, holy name, amen, amen. Benediction, Jude chapter 1. Jude chapter 1, verses 24 to 25, the Bible reads, Not unto him that is able to keep you from falling and to present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy. To the only wise, Isaiah, our Savior, be glory and majesty, dominion and power both now and ever. Amen and amen. Amen. Blessings. Amen.